the Soviet T-80B, and American M-1 Abrams main battle tanks were both in active service throughout the 1980s, with the Abrams being one of the first tanks to feature non-energetic reactive armor. When Nira is struck by a projectile or shaped charge jet, the interlayer absorbs some of the kinetic energy and spreads it radially, causing the plates to bulge outwards, interfering with the penetrator. The 3BM-26 armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding Sabo projectile was intended to provide a good compromise between performance and cost, where composite armor arrays could be defeated with as little tungsten as possible. Many previous Soviet APFSDS projectiles featured a core mounted in the nose, however these could often be dislodged or shattered when impacting sloped or spaced armor. To remedy this, 3BM-26 has the core and follower placed at the rear, with an air gap in front of them. It is intended that the core will maintain its terminal velocity as the steel body erodes, maximizing its penetration upon contact with the armor. However, based on the simulation, the deceleration of the projectile in the M1's neuro ray occurs over a long time, resulting in the core catching up with the steel body, negating some of its effectiveness. 